Tonight, a bitter reality for migrants in Chicago, a city running out of room. Dozens left to sleep inside these warming buses, provided by the mayor to escape the harsh winter temperatures, with shelters pushed to their limits. This man says he's been sleeping in buses for five days and is waiting for proper shelter provided by the city. It's awful. Um, we are basically playing with human lives. As buses and planes of people continue to arrive. At least three Chicago area suburbs voting tonight on executive actions that would prevent migrants from getting dropped off without warning or punish the companies who provide the transportation. Generally, they're all fairly tough because they uh, they have a $750 per person on the bus fine if the uh, bus company hasn't gotten a permit in advance. So that's pretty you know, with, with 20 to 50 migrants on a bus, that's pretty hefty. It's a tactic already employed by New York City Mayor Eric Adams, one that critics say has pushed Texas Governor Greg Abbott to bus migrants to neighboring New Jersey instead to avoid those penalties. What Governor Abbott has done in his total reckless disregard for using people as pawns, uh, he has shifted and it just wants to create chaos. If he's shifting, we're going to shift. Abbott, who has called the Adams order sheer hypocrisy, now facing a legal battle with the federal government. The White House filing an appeal with the Supreme Court to allow Border Patrol agents to cut through barbed wire put in place by the governor's administration. The political fight's heating up as this crisis reaches a new peak. December breaking an all-time record with an estimated 300,000 undocumented migrants crossing the southern border. A perilous journey for many who make it, including more than 30 people who were kidnapped on a bus like this while traveling to the border town of Matamoros. An incident the Mexican president says is under investigation. But some progress tonight for 3,000 migrants that are part of a caravan making its way to the U.S. The Mexican government offering permits to work in the country for the year in an effort to curb the surge. But many say America is still their final destination. Like this family we met here in New York, who say they are fleeing death threats back home in Ecuador. Many who do make it safely, ending up at the Roosevelt Hotel, a pit stop in a long and harrowing journey towards a new life. The mayor tonight says he knew restrictions would divert migrants, even if just temporarily. And if lawmakers in states like New Jersey have an issue, he says they can put similar orders into effect. But the reality is that every day, new people are getting onto buses and planes and coming here to places like the Roosevelt Hotel. And there appears to be no end in sight. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.